House and Senate passed a budget compromise that could or that does include new spending and tax relief. Desiree Montilla live at the state capitol to explain what the deal means for your wallet. Jasmine, as part of these revisions, rebate checks will go out later this fall and the sales tax holiday will return next month. And with major elections coming up, members from both parties found things in the new budget to celebrate and campaign on. Lawmakers returned to the Capitol to finish what they could not six months ago, passing a revised state budget. Nothing is one sided around here when we have divided government, which we look out for each side. This is a compromise that both sides have agreed on. I want to thank all of the Democrats and Republicans on both sides of the aisle that stayed engaged, stayed focused on our priorities, and we were able to reach an agreement that put Virginia families over corporations. Since February, negotiations between the House and the Senate hit roadblock after roadblock. Lawmakers missed a July 1st deadline to pass an amended budget. House Republicans and Senate Democrats had their priorities and stuck to them. On one side, they wanted to take off the support cap on education. I wasn't going to do that. They, on their side, didn't want to give us on the corporate tax relief. So they canceled each other out. That's how a negotiation uh, operates. Here's what budget negotiators finally came up with. One-time tax rebates this fall of $200 for single filers and $400 for joint filers. The standard tax deduction would also increase, and the sales tax holiday that lawmakers forgot about is returning the third week of October. Also included are 2% pay raises for state workers and teachers beginning in December and more money for education. What we did now is uh, what we had to do to keep our public schools on, on track but we can do a lot more. In a statement, Governor Glenn Youngkin applauded the General Assembly's work, saying in part, quote, this collaborative effort ensured the funding of our shared priorities, investing in students and teachers, supporting our law enforcement community, and transforming the way behavioral health care is delivered in the Commonwealth. While Governor Yonkin did praise today's vote, he did not say whether he will seek any changes, which would mean lawmakers would have to return to Richmond again to consider his proposed amendments. Live and on your side in Richmond tonight, Desiree Montilla, NBC 12 News. Thanks, Desi. Richmond.